Hello y'all, it is Valerie here at Pisces Mountain Farm and we're having a bit of unseasonably warm weather today so I thought I would take this opportunity to kind of clean up my greenhouse because before long it will be time to put some seedlings in it and I've just been using it for some storage of some of my gardening things and it needs to be cleaned up and also I've been working on cleaning out this back room of mine where we're eventually going to move our bathroom to and it has a vanity in it I've been storing and I have really nowhere else in the house to put it because it's glass and I don't feel comfortable putting it where our other bulk storage is right now so I'm going to put it out in my greenhouse so that way I can use it as a desk for writing down and keeping my notes and all that. So those two things are kind of colliding right now. My inside world and my outside world are kind of colliding. So we are going to go work on this greenhouse. I guess first let's go see what it looks like because honestly I haven't been in there in probably a month. So right. trying to do things one hand is tough. See, this is all just storage. This right here is some eucalyptus that, honestly, I don't know if it made it. We shall see in the springtime if it starts sending up new shoots. It is very heavily mulched. There's layers and layers of mulch before you actually get to the root system. I do know that the one that I had survive outside looked like this until spring and then it started getting new I'm not growth. sure if that's live or dead. And then I have this mimosa tree here. And I didn't have time to get it in the ground and I wasn't sure. See, I wasn't sure that the roots would be protected enough just on its own without being in the ground in that pot there. So I decided to put it in here. Go ahead and shut this. And those are honestly the only two things in here that are living. Anyways, this is what I need to do. I need to just clean this out. These are jugs that I'm going to be using winter sewing. A bag of a couple bags of mulch. And perlite, some pots and chairs. This tote right here is just gardening things While we're out here we're going to walk up there and take a look at the top field because the hubby said that he thinks he got the rest of the mulch down but <laughs> there was still a little bit of snow on the ground so I was unable to tell so we're just going to go take a look at that area and see if the rest of the mulch is down and see what that looks like let's go do that real quick Nope, yep. It most certainly does look like you got the rest of it mulched, which is awesome. Having this area mulched is going to help break down the leaves that we put. It's going to help break those down quicker. It looks like there's a space there that needs a little bit, and maybe a little bit right there. But for the most part, it's mulched, and when it rains, it'll settle and it'll look more like this than down here does. But this makes me happy. One step closer to having this ready to plant this season. So I know this field doesn't look as pretty as it will once everything's planted and at least and honestly even after it's rained a few times to kind of settle all the fresh mulch it'll even look better but this is such an exciting thing for me to see it it, it fills me with a, a lightness that I've been lacking recently let's just In the say winter time both figuratively and literally it can get real dark so this helps fill me with some light I mean that's a beautiful that's a beautiful sight all right, I just wanted to show you guys that. I got 
got st most of the stuff moved to the sides. These bags of mulch will be gone. Those pots will be gone. The soil and the tub will stay. My lights won't be housed in here. Those two chairs will be gone. The, the jugs will be gone because I'll use them. Basically, eventually, all this stuff will be out of here for the most part. I got it cleaned up enough that I should be able to go ahead and sweep in here and put that vanity out here. And then, as the season progresses, I will get more of this stuff cleared up. I know that this really isn't a whole lot going on right now, but besides starting a few lisianthus seeds and some onion seeds, I've been burning my pit, trying to get it cleaned up, my pond, my pit, whatever you want to call it, and really just getting prepared for the eventuality whenever it's seed starting season, which for me is here in a few weeks. So I just thought I would come and get this cleaned up and straightened a little bit and kind of show you what I'm doing because... It's a nice day out. I wanted to get some sunshine while it was available to get. And I just wanted to hang out with you guys for a while because I've missed you. And it seems really odd not jumping on here and at least saying hey. Also, I also wanted to maybe clarify. We caulked the panels on these. Whenever we built it, we did the silicone caulking. And it was for a couple of reasons. To keep any leaks that might happen that might seep between the panels from coming in. It also will help keep heat from escaping whenever it comes time for me to heat this thing. And also, it helps secure the panels from banging in the wind. We get some high winds here sometimes. It got up to 70 miles an hour during one of these last really cold periods we had. Um, and they held up, but the silicone keeps them from flapping. I guess some people in windy areas have had them pop out due to the wind, and that just gives them some extra security. They can't really move inside of their you channel lace that's got a lot of snow, and it piles up real heavy against the side as it comes off of your roof. Like if it comes off of your roof and lands against this and you've got a lot of snow, it'll help keep the snow load from... It will help keep the snow load from crushing your panels in. It just gives it some extra, extra stability, some extra rigidity that kind of helps hold your panels in place and keeps them from flapping in the wind. I think I forgot to clarify that whenever I was talking about it because I had so much on my mind. I was just trying to get everything in, especially the parts that were kind of confusing to me. And I maybe didn't go over why we needed to do that quite as thoroughly. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. It's been really nice catching up, and I hope to see you next time.